Hello everyone, today I'm here to do another top 10 for you guys. This time it's going to be my top 10 all-time favorite TV shows. Now, this list I have really scrutinized on of my really top 10s. It was really hard because, as you guys know, I watch a lot of television more than I like to admit, even though I do admit it, so whatever. Um, so yeah, I have narrowed it down now. Don't think if there's not a show on here that I love that I have not listed that I, I still like it. This is just not my all-time favorite television show. So if it's like within their first or second or third season, most likely they're probably not going to be on here because I'm still developing them. Most of these series or television shows are already like kind of done, but whatever. They're still my top 10 favorites. So I'm going to go from my top 10 down to my favorite of the favorites. This is top one. And yeah, let's get to it. As always, if you guys have any suggestions for other top 10s, please let me know down in the comments below. I love suggestions. I think this was suggested by people. I don't know. I just felt like doing it. So that's why I'm doing it. So let's get on to it. My number 10 pick is Dawson's Creek. That's right. I am a Dawson's Creek girl. I just like Dawson's Creek. Okay. I just do. I have just watched the show I'm let it be be. I'm a pacey girl. Love this show, honestly. And I just, I know a lot of, it gets a lot of crap because it's one of those melodram melodramatic te teen shows, but I quite enjoy it and it will always be one of my favorites and just always watch it on Netflix because Netflix is awesome. My number one show is Gossip Girl. I even have a video strictly about Gossip Girl, which you can click right here to go see it. I love Gossip Girl. Um, it's one of those shows I watched from the very beginning and I will always covet it because I just really love the fashion in it and I love the acting in it. And yes, it is kind of cheesy and I will tell you, if you like the books, they are very, very different. Most like most book to TV show adaptations are. They just change a lot of things. But I have not really read a lot of the books. That's, like, that's probably why I won't love the TV show so much. I am a Blair lover, I will tell you that much. And I just really love this show. It's just one of those shows that I will always love. <laughs> Hence why it's on my top 10. Number 8 show, Pretty Little Liars. Now this, I, um, th this is another book to TV show kind of transfer. I did read the first four books, I believe, before I watched TV show, and I think the first season I gave up on it because I like, this is so different from the book. I cannot stand it. And then I learned that, you know what, that's going to happen no matter what TV show it is. As Honestly, as much as you want it to strip stick as close to the book, more than likely it's not going to. So once you get over that realization that it's not going to be like the book, you will enjoy it and view them as two different entities almost. My dog decides to drink water every time I film a video. Like, what's up with that? Almost done. So I love Pretty Little Liars because it's just, it does, it does have a lot of plot twists and a lot of stuff like that. I mean, some of the stuff, it's like painfully obvious, but I really love it. It's one of those shows that I love to marathon through. So sometimes I won't watch the seasons when they come on. I will just wait till they get added to Netflix and have a week where I just watch the crap out of it because who doesn't love Netflix marathoning? Like if there's a shirt that says, I'm a Netflix marathoner, buy me it because I would wear it all the time because it's what I do. Our seventh pick is How I Met Your Mother and I discovered this through Netflix. So I was not always a How I Met Your Mother fan. And I'm so glad I did find it because it is a hilarious show. Like I love it. Oh, I just, I love this show. It's on its ninth, I think, and it's on its very last season. And I'm excited to finally figure out who the mother is and get into the details of that. And it's just a really funny show. It's very Friends-esque, so I definitely say if you liked Friends, you will definitely like this show. Our sixth pick should be obvious. It is going to be The Walking Dead, probably the most serious show on my list because, as you can tell, a lot of my favorites are kind of light-hearted ones. I don't know why. The Walking Dead is just for people that love gruesome and zombies and everything awesome. It's on AMC, so it's on cable, so that's where it's kind of not so good if you don't have cable, but it's an amazing show. I think it just started at fourth season, which I honestly have not watched. I just, I forgot to DVR it, and that's just what happened. I've gotten behind. Shame on me. But you can rest assured that I'm about to marathon the crap out of that soon. So it's a very, very good show. It's very good at plot development and character development. One of the best shows I've seen for character development. Like, you learn so much about the characters and everything like that. So it's an A++ show. Amazing. Number five pick is New Girl. And I started watching New Girl when it first began because I'm a huge fan of Zoe Dacian, whatever her name is. <laughs> and I'm so glad I did because it's an amazing show. It's definitely one of my favorite shows for all the cast. As in, like, the cast works very well together. They're very cohesive. Like, they really play on each other very well. One of my favorite casts of all time for TV shows. I just really love New Girl. My favorite character is Nick, for sure. I, I just love Nick. He's just the best. And it's a very funny, funny show. Like, this is one of the few shows that makes me laugh out loud honestly a lot. So, I really love this show. Four pick is Parks and Recreation. It This is on its sixth season, maybe? 
I think sixth or seventh for sure. It's gotta be one of those. Watch this from the beginning as well because I'm a huge Amy Poehler fan. I knew creators of The Office made this, so I had to tune in. And I definitely say if you love The Office, you will definitely love this show. It's got that same kind of filming where they know the cameras are there, they talk to the cameras, and it's just a hilarious show. I really, really love it. This is another show that makes me laugh out loud. Like, watch. And it's just, it's really funny. It's another one of the best casts I've seen where they all play on each other very, very well. My number three pick, speaking of kind of The Office, it is The Office. The Office is one of my all-time favorite shows. Like, Office is one of the shows where I just watch all the time. Like, if I'm doing something and I want TV on the background, more nine times out of ten it's just an episode of The Office, and I have seen all of them at least three times. Sad to say, I name an episode, tell me what an episode's like, and I can name that episode for you. That's how much I watch The Office. <laughs> just an hilarious show, and. I just love it. There's not so much, there's so much to be said about it. And I have created a video on it right here, which you can go check out for yourself. Number two pick is going to be Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yes, yes, the cult classic. The cult classic that everyone knows and loves, and I love it. I learned through the show through my cousin, I think, and it was well into its fifth season, I think, when I found it, and I watched all the episodes, and I just loved it, and it's just an awesome show. It's, like, it reminds me so much of my teenage years. Like, my teenage years were spent watching Buffy. It's gonna be one of those shows when you first watch it, you're gonna think it's super dorky because the one-liners when she's, like, sticking a vampire, she's like, well, you're dust dust everywhere. Um, yes, but you know what though? That's what makes it so awesome. I mean, this is Josh Wheaton. Josh Wheaton has a huge, huge fan base strictly because of the show and amazingness of it. I just really love Buffy. If you guys want a separate video about all things Buffy, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to do that because it's one of my all-time favorite shows. I just always loved Buffy. Like I said, most of my teenage years just spent love Buffy. Like, I was known as the Buffy nerd, so that's kind of fun. I was in high school, I was the Buffy and, Ma and Harry Potter nerd, so, you know, some labels, they just stick, right? With that, you can also tie Angel into this. Angel was the spin-off show of Buffy, which I liked. I didn't love it as much as Buffy, just because I loved Buffy, but, um, I can just put those two together again. One pick, you guys probably already know this because you can see the crap load behind me. It's Gilmore Girls, okay? Gilmore Girls. I think I watched this show from the very beginning. I can't say which season I started watching it on, but I fell in love with it. It's my favorite show because it's just the best, in my opinion. That's just me. Strictly just me. I just really love the mother and daughter portrayal on it, the way that they talk super fast, because obviously I can relate to that. I at least get a comment every other video saying how fast they talk and I should slow down, but I can't do it. Just like Laura, I can't stop talking fast. It's just in, ingrained in us. Like, we just can't stop. We won't stop. No, 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 Miley Cyrus, get out of here. It's just an amazing show. It just makes me want to move to Stars Hollow and stay there forever. This is another great cast where I just love all of the cast. I don't have a particular favorite. Yes, I do. It's Rory, okay? It's Rory. But it's just an amazing show. I love Gilmore Girls. If you guys want a video about that, please let me know. That was my top 10 all-time favorite television shows. Please let me know in the comments which shows are your favorites, which shows that are just your all-time favorites that you just love so, so much that you can't just stop talking about and all that kind of stuff. As always, like I said, leave comments um, down below which top 10s you want to see and further advance. I think the next one I might film might be a top 10 favorite female characters of contemporary novels. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your week and is that it? Yeah, that's it. Bye.